Okay, today we're going to go ahead and uh, do an unboxing and a first look at the play date. Uh, ordered this about 11 months ago and came in about a week ago. And it's unique, as we'll see. Let's go ahead and open her up, see what we got. They made this for fun. All right. You can take a second to read that if you want. Pause the video. Let's see what's in there. I've actually unboxed this for a split second once. I like how they went ahead and put protective packaging inside there. All right. Indeed, they still want us to have fun. I believe inside there is going to be a charging cable. Matches the color of the device. And a pretty simple manual. Thank you so much for buying the play date. To get started, press the lock three times. If nothing happens, then charge it. Oh, I do believe it's charged a little bit. Tip to use the crank. We'll pull it out from the bottom. Press the menu button to pause the game. Hold the menu while pressing left, right to adjust the volume. And make my own games. You can actually go to play.date.dev play to learn how. There's a sleep mode. All right, that is all we get to read from that. Let's see what the device looks like. Little spot here to take that out. As you can see, we've got a D-pad. An A and a B button. I believe that's the sleep button. We'll find out the hard way. That's the lock button. Here's that crank they talk about. So to pull it out from the bottom. Okay, that flips out and we will see what the heck that's for. Put that back in for now. It's got a nice slot right there that fits the little crank handle. All right, let's power on this device. Okay, warning if I have epilepsy, things might flash. Okay. Let's see if I can get good light for that. Kind of snazzy startup screen. The viewing angle, however, is, as you can see, kind of shallow. So, try my best to keep it in view here. Don't know how long this actually plays. For reference, there is a light on the ceiling directly above me that's helping uh, get this brightness going here. Huh, still watching that. Set three to unlock it. Look at that again. Oh, wants to press the up button. Right button, down, oh, so it helps you pay attention. Smash the A button, poke the B button. All right, I guess we woke it up. Well, wants me to try out the crank. like a power on self test or something. Let me try to get in a position where I can actually touch buttons while. All right, a little help to get started. Set up your account, we'll need to connect to the internet. Let's find a Wi-Fi network. Well, I had turned it off so you wouldn't see password. I'm not gonna type it in right now. I will say, if you look here, the little keyboard 
they have going. Scrolls really fast. So I should be able to enter that pretty darn quickly here. I do not know how to blur out video yet. That's not in my production skills. So I'm gonna stop again and we'll come back after I have my password in. Now if I typed it in correctly, we should be connected. There we go. I gotta register the device. All right, enter this pin there. All right, so a simple QR code might be the easy way to go. Give me a second to get that registered and I'll be right back. Okay, we got it linked. Now it is time for a download. I don't know if it's a firmware system update or what. Let's see what we have. Got a little uh, phone icon phoning home. Everything on this is basically cutesy in terms of uh, the user interface. And I expect nothing less for a device this size. While that's going on, let's take a peek at a few other things. The cable, USB-A, nope, good focus there, there we go, to USB-C. That is not micro USB, that is indeed a USB-C connector, which is good. I like having universal connectors like that. All right, I'm getting warned of battery power, so I must plug in to resume the update. All right, let's go ahead and get some power. Luckily, I keep a power brick nearby that's got USB plugs on it. Let's just get this bad boy charging. that was going to end up being a thing for us. Charger nearby. Alright, plugged in to continue our update. Huh, we may need to stop if this needs to be at 25% for us to continue. Let's do this charging thing, hopefully fast. Let's take a look at that thing in the purple box to the top left there. Get that somewhere pretty here. Well, it charges up. So, Optional accessory was the play date cover. And again, they get cutesy, they've got you covered. It's a magnetic cover, very similar, I guess, to what they use on iPod or iPads and things like that. Let's find out. There we go. Ah, almost looks like a, a book. I'm just going to tear into there. Got a little bit of plastic or uh, foam in there. Toss that. All right, so it looks like it has posts on it that correspond to things I've seen on the back of this device. And then, of course, some cutouts for controls. Looks like it's going to flip upwards based on how those controls are. Let's see. So you can see there are some metal holes in there. Yep. Goes on nice and easy. And then looks like it has some mags in the front to go ahead and close out there. All right, well, apparently I should have made sure this was charged beforehand, but I wanted to do a pretty much true unboxing. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop for now, and I will come back to recording as soon as that's charged far enough. 
That's actually not a bad angle for viewing. So I'm gonna let it go ahead and record. Oh, hey, <laughs> I guess we hit 25%. Glad I didn't walk away too far. Let's see what it's saying here. Press A to continue. Updating done, that's pretty fast. Updating again. Sorry, I can't hold this thing 100% steady. It's what happens when you get as old as me. All right, line of system updates, some pretty graphics going on. And with the light above it, this is a very sharp screen, but I will say as soon as I move it away from direct overhead light, it starts to act like a Game Boy. Uh, and I'm talking OG Game Boy here. Let that sit for a second. I'll give this a few seconds. There we go. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. All right, interpreting local time. It is indeed 3.28 p.m. And would I like to send metrics to help us make play date better? Sure. I know there's people out there that think I just gave up my privacy, but I like to help the devs. All right, press A to play. All right, so the software on this is based on what they call seasons, and you subscribe to those seasons, and you will get two games every week downloaded, I don't know what date of the week it's gonna be, to your device as a kind of surprise. So right now I've got in season one, Whitewater Wipeout, Casual Burger, and then System Settings. So let's see what Whitewater Wipeout looks like. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to change the angle here of the camera so I can play this on the table. Wish me luck, guys. All right, that's pretty viewable. All right, press A to start. Crank time, they say. Oh, well, I'm just gonna pull this out after all. Use the crank. Not sure why, but okay. So that was unawesome. Let me take the case off. All right, let's see here. And a wipeout. Crank forever. Okay, apparently I suck at this game. Try doing a triple 360 is the hint on this. Well, thanks for the hint. Keeping a high score there. I don't know if there's leaderboards. It's a darn good question. That little speaker there. I does say keep press B for global ranking. Let's see if we can actually get closer to see what those ranks are. Apparently some people do better than zero. Well, cool, global leaderboards. I know some folks will be pleased about that. All right, let's get the crank back in for now and see. All right, so I got the volume there. Go home or do screenshots. What? I'm gonna try that out. 
All right, it saved a screenshot. I wonder where I'll find that. Maybe because he emailed to me. I'll have to check on that. All right. Second game on there is the casual birder. Hmm. Let's zoom in a little bit more. See if that's going to end up being a game that requires the crank too. Ah, so let's take pictures. New game. Start a new game. Yes. Wow, that does not look like the beginning of uh, Pokemon's, you know, kind of graphics, the original Pokemon. Wow, you even have some text going on here. Let's see. Hey, kid, here you are. Your new digs. Yeah, that doesn't look like Ash Ketchum. I don't know what does. Move your stuff in so you're all set. Pretty brave kid moving to town like this. Ask if I know anything about bird photography. Of course, every phone has a camera. And it's gonna require the crank. I think I see something over here. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna end up doing on here. Where is this bird it speaks of? Guess I had, all right. Yeah, that's not getting the bird in here. Let me get closer. Not sure I'm doing that because I'm making you guys dizzy. All right, well, you get the hint. Uh, the graphics are pretty sharp on this thing. And again, uh, first game, no idea how to play it. This one, still no idea how to play it. But it does have some pretty good looking graphics on that. Again, it gives me a very Pokemon vibe. So, I am going to put this back in the menu for a second and I'm going to check my email to see if we got any images sent to us with screenshots. I'll be right back. Okay, so what it looks like is you have to connect the uh, connect this to a computer. Go into settings. And go to system. And restart it or reboot it to data disk. So what this ends up doing is it will basically make itself a USB drive which is for two things. One, to get your screenshots off of it, and two, to go ahead and sideload games. So if um, this, I'll check, there might be end up already being a community out there for people creating games for this thing. And of course, I told you that you could develop your own, so you could go ahead and use the developer kit and sideload your own games. So not a walled garden, uh, you know, you have the subscription service, but you can still somehow sideload games. So I'm gonna be looking into this later. Again, this is just kind of like my first look at this device. But yeah, that sounds interesting. I'll have to see about uh, getting those screenshots. So that is my unboxing and first impressions of this device yeah, let's see what else did you have in the settings there just so you guys can see I let's see games 
Okay, currently I just have two right now. It says it's refreshing the list. Uh, what's it a refresh? Unless it's gonna find me some uh, other ones. Nope, those are just the two I've got. Looks like there is an update to Casual Burger. Well, darn it to heck, who knew? <laughs> we'll let that download real quick, 200 and something uh, K should not be that bad. Or was it Megs? It might actually be Megs. All right, we'll come back to that. Uh, yeah, I'll leave and come back. So account, I was all already able to uh, change my account to Rascal. Wi-Fi you don't care about, the lock screen, what's gonna be on that? Have an analog clock, digital clock, or a world clock? I'll just go with the analog, that'll probably look snazzy. Auto lock is off while charging. Or on. Accessibility features are reduce the flashing and use it in upside down mode. Interesting. What time is it? We already know that. Device metrics, I enabled them. And system had device info, performance system update, do some testings, replay that intro, usual regulatory, restart the play date for some reason, reboot to the data disk mode I talked about earlier, factory reset, and send crash report. All right. So overall, what are my first impressions on this thing? It's responsive, as you can see. Uh, the graphics, you know, if you got a well-lit room like the old Game Boy, you can see this. Don't know if you're gonna end up seeing accessories like they used to have for the, the lights and everything uh, on the Game Boys. We'll find out. Uh, the crank, is it a gimmick? I don't know yet, I haven't played enough. Um, but supposedly, as you saw, both games are incorporating it, uh, the first two that came with it. But definitely looking forward to seeing what other games are out there for side loading. And adding this on real quick. Sorry guys, uh, looks like I forgot to do a full kind of round on this thing, take a look at it. So it looks like we've got, again, a menu button on the top here. Speaker. A and B button, D-pad, the crank, some metal holes used for accessories. As we know, the case book thing will cover, worked well with those magnetically. But I didn't go down here where the USB-C port is and a headphone jack. So who would have thunk it? But yep, there's a headphone jack on a small little device like that. I'm guessing that's a microphone, guys. I'll have to find out what that ends up getting used for. If you got a well-lit room like the old Game Boy, you can see this. Don't know if you're gonna end up seeing accessories like they used to have for the, the lights and everything uh, on the Game Boys. We'll find out. Uh, the crank, is it a gimmick? I don't know yet, I haven't played enough. Um, but supposedly, as you saw, both games are incorporating it, uh, the first two that came with it. But definitely looking forward to seeing what other games are out there for side loading and check out this whole disc mode to get my pictures off and again i'm going to throw those pictures here near the end right before the uh, outro to the video all right guys well if you have any questions leave them in the comments and if this is your first time here and you like what you see feel free to subscribe hit the bell for notifications of course if you like the video a thumbs up if you didn't a thumbs down um, I'll take all feedback, positive and negative. So I do know that there are some people who have these pre-ordered coming soon and some that are on the fence about what if they want to buy it or not. So uh, for those on the fence, you're probably looking at 2023 until you get yours because they're currently shipping out batches of them. But all right, guys. Well, thank you again for your time. Hope you appreciate the video. Uh, remember, thumbs up, like, subscribe. Appreciate everybody who's been watching. Have a great day.